message coming in. Patching it through. Commander Shepard, my name is Nasana Dantius. I have a job for you. I can't say anymore in an unsecured communication. If you're interested in hearing my offer, meet me on the Citadel so we can talk in person. I'll be waiting in the Diplomat's Lounge on the Presidium. message from Alliance Command coming in. I'll patch it through. Shepard, this is Admiral Hackett from Alliance Command. We've got a situation here and you're the only one that can handle it. What do you need, Admiral? There's an Alliance training ground where we test weapons and technology and live fire simulations. One of the VIs we use to simulate enemy tactics in the drills is no longer responding to our override commands. It's gone rogue. Are you telling me this computer is thinking on its own? We're not stupid, Shepard. This is a virtual intelligence, not a true AI. It's not self-aware, and it can't access any external systems. We didn't do anything illegal here. Virtual intelligence support is critical to our military success. VIs process thousands of status reports and react in nanoseconds. No human can do that. We need you to fight your way through the training ground of the VI Corps and manually disable it. Can't you disable it remotely? Our fail-safes aren't responding. The VI operates on a closed network. It can affect any external systems, but we don't have any direct access to its processes. We could bomb it from orbit, but the damage to the facility would be catastrophic. We'd prefer to have someone shut down the core. Someone like you. I know Spectre's answered the Council, but you're still human. You're still part of the Alliance military. And right now, we need you. The VI controls all the facilities, weapons, drones, and automated defenses. You're the only one that can pull this off, Shepard. Good luck. We need to hurry. They're gonna kill him. You must. For you. I you will must destroy die. you. You I must will die. destroy you. You must die.
see how it is? You write letters and everyone ignores you. Force is the only thing people appreciate. So how about if I kill Chairman Burns and finish the charade? Please, I was trying to help you people. Let's not do anything we're all going to regret. Why not? What have we got to lose? Since the chairman here decided that we didn't get reparations, we've got nothing left to live for. But I've changed my mind. Seeing you all, it's, it's clear that you all deserve... You had your chance. Some L2s are nearly crippled from side effects of the implants, but you voted against reparations. Think about this. Burns is the one man who can help you. Yes, if you release me, I can take another look at the reparations request. What? We're supposed to trust you? Sure, you promise us freedom and say everything will be fine, but as soon as we surrender, you'll double-cross us. I'm not promising to let you go. All I'm saying is that Burns will take another look. Right, Burns? Absolutely. I had no idea that the L2-biotics were this desperate. If I'd known, the reparations will come. For whatever it's worth, I promise that. You're right. I don't want to die. Maybe something will happen this time. We surrender. Thank you, Commander. I thought I was dead when they took me. I'll see to it that the reparations discussion is reopened. I didn't know they were so desperate. The Fifth Fleet Cruiser will be by shortly to pick you and the prisoners up. Thank you, Commander. I thought I was dead when they took Message coming in. Patching it through. Thank you for dealing with the hostage situation, Commander. Chairman Burns was quite impressed by the way you resolved the situation peacefully. Your assistance above and beyond the formal duties has been noted, Commander. Fifth Fleet out. nobody's home. Most of the systems are shut down. It's just running on basic life support. Hear that? We're not alone. Somebody set that trap. The whole place could be wired. Cover! 
Perimeter secured. Looks like that machine is keeping him alive. I'm not seeing any brain activity on the readouts. He's dead. This body is just an empty shell. Maybe we should shut the machine down. It's the merciful thing to do. It's your decision, Shepard. But maybe we should wait until we know more about what's going on before we do anything. not going to make it. His brain was deprived of oxygen for too long. There's nothing any of us can do for him now except let him die with dignity. It's what he would want. I'm more worried about Julia now. She's showing signs of severe depression. I gave her some meds that should help, but I better warn the captain. isn't functioning anymore, and they want to shut off his machines. But Jacob's the only thing in the world that matters to me. I don't know how to help him, and it's tearing me up inside. I just feel so helpless, so damn angry. Dr. Smith gave me some meds to calm down, but I didn't take them. I can't. Not until I figure out a way to help Jacob. I won't give up on him. I won't! Jacob is showing no signs of brain activity. There's nothing more we can do for him. He wouldn't want to be kept alive by machines, so we're going to disconnect the life support. Dr. Smith is worried about Julia's reaction, though. She can't seem to let Jacob go. The stress is making her implants flare up, causing intense migraines. It'll probably be easier for everyone if we don't tell her until after we shut the life support down. Give her a chance to... Julia, what are you doing here? Why are you- I will destroy you! You did the right thing, Commander.
for good, Commander. Think we got him, Commander.
equalizing interior pressure with exterior atmosphere. Logged. The commanding officer is ashore. Exo Presley has the deck. Seeing the ward stretching out before you really makes you appreciate the Citadel as a true wonder of Prothean engineering. Tin Hut! At ease. Rear Admiral Mihailovic, 5th Fleet. We weren't told to expect you, sir. I would have prepared a formal greeting. Spare me the pleasantries. I command the 63rd Scout Flotilla. You and the Normandy were slated for my unit after shakedown. And the Council got their paws, claws, tentacles, whatever. They got them on our ship and you. Captain Anderson made it clear to me that my assignment came from way up in the brass. They say jump, I say how high. Remember that when I tell you to jump. I still serve the Alliance, sir. As a Spectre, I can advance our interests to the Council. Huh. You still know what color your blood is, Shepard? I don't begrudge the politician's decision to throw you to the Council. It's an opportunity. I do begrudge this over-designed piece of tin, though. The Normandy is a fine ship, sir. She's served us well so far. It's a gimmick, Commander. Useless in a stand-up fight. This experiment diverted billions from our appropriations bills for the same price we could have had a heavy cruiser. But no. We had to make nice to the Turians, throw money at a co-developed boondoggle. I'm here to make an inspection, Commander. Normandy is an Alliance warship. I intend to see she's up to snuff. We'd be honored to show her to you, Admiral. I'll just bet. Wait here. I won't be long. Commander, I'm not happy. I'm sorry to hear that, sir. Who designed that CIC? Putting the commander aft of everyone else is inefficient. What if he needs to discuss with the operators toward the bow? Modified Turian style. They prefer commanders looking over their subordinates rather than in the middle of them. We wanted to see how effectively they can command with that setup. Hmm. Reasonable goal, but they should have studied that in a lab rather than on a frontline warship. I had to shake my head at that drive core of yours, 120 billion credits of element zero to make this thing able to move without giving itself away. You realize we could make drive cores for 12,000 fighters with that money? What good is it to hide for a few hours anyway? Useless! We can loiter in an enemy system and monitor traffic, or drop infiltration teams on enemy worlds. Normandy can be more effective than the Solarian STG. Maybe, maybe. But that's not the job of a proper warship. We're supposed to find and kill the enemy fleet, not count how many times their garrison goes to the bathroom. And we need to talk about your crew, Commander. Krogan? Asari? Turians? What are you thinking, Commander? You can't allow alien nationals free access to Alliance equipment? Between Saren and the Geth, we have enough enemies out here. Treating other species with suspicion and distrust won't win hearts and minds. That assumes the hearts and minds are worth winning. That hasn't been proven yet. You have anything else to say, Commander? Any other justifications for the state of this vessel? I think the Normandy is a good ship, sir. Even if you disagree, you have to see that her joint construction and multiracial crew make the Alliance look better. Your job is to look good, Commander. The Alliance Navies is to win wars. I'm not convinced Normandy isn't a waste of taxpayer money, but I am convinced that you believe otherwise, and that you'll use it to its best ability. I'll be submitting a report to the Joint Military Council. It will not be as negative as I had planned. Good hunting, Commander Shepard. Make us proud. Now that you have experienced a Spectre's life firsthand, Garrus, do you regret leaving your security position? Fighting a rogue Spectre with countless lives at stake and no regulations to get in the way? I'd say that beats CSEC. I am unsure how the imminent destruction of all organic life beats anything, but your enthusiasm is comforting nonetheless. 
Commander Shepard? Kalisa Bensin and Al Jalani, Westernland News. Would you answer a few questions for our viewers? What do you want to know? You've been given a unique position to represent our race. People want to get a sense of how you'll do that. Humans have been trying to get the respect of the galactic community for 26 years. With that in mind, what are your feelings on being the first human Spectre? The Spectres represent the best of every species in the galaxy. To be asked to join them is an honor. Some have said your appointment is the Citadel throwing humans a bone. Have you encountered any situations where the Citadel asked you to place its needs before the needs of Earth? The Council is concerned with the needs of the whole galactic community. We're part of that community now. Our needs are on their agenda, but we're one of many. You really do believe that, don't you? You've been given command of an advanced human warship for your missions. Is there anything you'd like to say about it? Actually, the Normandy was co-developed by human and Turian engineers. Its design incorporates many innovations, all of which are classified, I'm afraid. So, the Turians have knowledge of the Normandy that is being kept secret from the Alliance public? Do you think it was appropriate to hand Earth's most advanced warship over to the Citadel? I wasn't aware it had been handed over to anyone. I'm in command, and last I checked, I'm human. Same goes for my crew. Human, yes, but you do work for the Citadel now, Commander. One last question, Commander. Rumors back home say you're tracking a rogue specter named Saren. Do you have any comment on that? Saren instigated the attack on our colony at Eden Prime. Once his involvement was proven to the Council, I was assigned to bring him in. That's... surprising, Commander. The official line says Eden Prime was attacked by rogue synthetics. Good luck in your mission. Thank you for your time, Commander Shepard. Did you know Citadel Security is the largest multi-species law enforcement agency in Council space? It was the Turians who first suggested creating a single organization to maintain order on the Citadel. Perhaps that is why more than half the force is Turian. Alliance officials have raided a dangerous cult controlled by a former Alliance officer, Major Kyle. Major Kyle surrendered and is now being treated for severe post-traumatic stress disorder. I heard what happened under the Artemis Tau Cluster. The Council wasn't too happy about the destruction of those Prothean ruins. This isn't a game, Ambassador. Shepard's out there trying to stop Saren from destroying the galaxy. I know, I know. Just try to be a little more careful. The Council's watching you, and we all get judged on how you behave. Yes, Commander? Where can I find Admiral Kohoku? Last I heard, he was up in the tower trying to get the Council to investigate Bane's death. Is there anything else, Commander? I should go. I'll be here if you need anything. This is truly magnificent. Most Prothean architecture I see is in ruins. The sheer size of this place is overwhelming. Remarkable. Nature and technology combined in one elegant hall. The ambassadors have this beautiful park to relax in, but most of them are too busy to ever use it. My first CSEC posting was here on the Presidium. Mostly for show, not much crime up here. It never gets dark here. 
They keep the artificial sunlight on at all times. So they finally did it. I knew one of your kind would make Spectre one day. I only hope you're better than the one they're sending you after. I'll do everything I can to stop Saren. Hmm. That's what worries me. Was there something you wanted? I'll be going now. Goodbye, Commander. Commander Shepard, I am Nasana Dantius. I see you got my message. It sounded like you needed some help. I do. My sister Dahlia is a crewman on a cargo vessel operating out beyond the fringes of the Traverse. Her ship was attacked by privateers. There were no reported survivors. I'm sorry for your loss. This is where it gets complicated. Last week, I received a message with her voice on it. Dahlia is alive! The rest of the crew was killed. But she was taken prisoner. The slavers demanded a huge ransom from me in exchange for returning her unharmed. Why didn't the raiders kill Dahlia along with everyone else? My sister probably told them who she was. My family's very wealthy, Shepard. They must have realized she was worth more to them alive. Coming up with the ransom seems like the best way to ensure Dahlia's safety. That's what I thought. I did what they wanted. Transferred the funds to the account they specified. Only they never released her. They haven't contacted me since. I've made a terrible mistake, Shepard. I'm a diplomatic emissary. By law, I'm required to report any attempted extortion to CSEC immediately. But I was afraid for Dahlia, so I just paid the ransom. Now she's still missing. And if anyone finds out what I did, I could end up in jail. Why would they put you in jail? You're the victim here. Government representatives on the Citadel are not allowed to negotiate with terrorists. It's too dangerous. Paying a ransom would only encourage more kidnappings. I support the law in theory, but when I got the message, all I could think about was Dahlia's safety. I doubt they would actually send me to prison for what I did, but they would strip me of my post, and Dahlia would still be in the hands of the slavers. You want me to find her and bring her back? You only need to bring her back. I've already found her for you. I tracked the ransom payment through several accounts. Eventually, it led to a small mercenary band operating out of the Artemis Tau Cluster. I need you to go to the Merc base, take them out, and bring my sister back. You shall be well rewarded. Can't you hire someone else to do this? I do not want to take chances with my sister's life. I need a Spectre. Besides, you operate outside official channels. My superiors cannot find out I never reported the ransom in the first place. Anything you can tell me about the mercs who have your sister? Pretty much what you'd expect. Rough, dangerous, and well-armed. Nothing a Spectre cannot handle, though. How'd you find out who was behind the ransom? I have resources. Contacts and credits can go a long way. Especially if you're willing to bend the rules. I already broke the law when I paid the ransom. This couldn't make things any worse. Keep your reward. I'll bring your sister back. I promise. Thank you, Shepard. I knew you were the right man for the job. Come back and see me when the job is done.
telling you, this is not what Jake would want. Who are you to tell me what my husband would want? I'm the only person making sense right now. You're endangering your baby. This baby is the only thing I have left of Jake. I don't care what you think, Michael. It's my decision. I know you're hurting, Rebecca, but don't let your grief hurt your baby, too. Can I help you with anything? Perhaps you can talk some sense into her. I don't need anyone to talk sense into me, Michael. I'm not undergoing the treatments. My sister-in-law here is pregnant, and she's refused to let the baby undergo gene therapy in utero. I'm certain that she has a good reason. I'd like to hear both sides. My husband Jacob died from a rare heart condition several months ago. There's a chance that the baby could develop the same heart condition, but routine gene therapy can eliminate it. A very small chance, Michael. And extranet reports say the therapy could harm the child. It's less dangerous than the genetic enhancements that every soldier in the Alliance receives. What are the chances that your child will develop the heart condition? According to the doctors, there's a 1 in 50 chance. And if my baby develops the condition, medical treatments are available. Which are nowhere near as effective as simply getting the gene therapy. What are the chances that gene therapy could hurt the baby? One in 300 at most. But extranet articles say there could still be long-term complications we don't know about. Don't you understand? If my baby is that one in 300, I will always wonder if I... If, if I killed my baby for nothing. It's Rebecca's child, Michael. I think you should honor her decision. Damn it, she's not choosing. She's acting blindly out of grief. I know you want the best for your brother's child, but this isn't your decision. Of course it is! I'm the closest thing to a father this baby is going to have. Then support the baby's mother. Stand with her when she makes tough decisions. This baby is the only thing my brother... It's all I have left of him. I need to know that the baby's safe. It's all I have left too, Michael. I just want Jacob's child to be safe. I want to give him that much. We will. I promise. Thank you for talking with us. I appreciate it. Keepers never paid much attention to that relay monument. I always found that a little strange. This statue shows how well the Protheans blended function and form. The mass relays were not only their greatest technological achievement, but also inspiration for beautiful works of art. Presidium technicians are struggling to understand why a computer system catastrophically overloaded recently. Technicians are reportedly unsure of what caused the malfunction, or even what the system was originally designed to do. CSEC is investigating the possible vandalism or misuse of public property. How the trees and the fountain naturally blend with the arches of the tower. They have done a masterful job of capturing the aesthetic values of the Protheans. Not too many people have free access to the tower, even less get permission to meet the council.
Any news? Did you find my brother yet? I found your brother's body. His ship was attacked by privateers. Willem's... dead? I guess I should have expected this. When his ship dropped out of contact, I just knew. But I kept hoping he might still be alive. I'm sorry for your loss. Thank you for finding him. It's better to know one way or the other. That's what they say, right? Please excuse me. I need to go make arrangements for his funeral. I'm waiting to speak with one of the Counselor's assistants. Commander, any word on my missing men? I'm not sure how to tell you this, Admiral. Your men were killed by a Thresher Maw. A Thresher Maw? That's not... My men wouldn't just stumble into a Thresher Nest. Not the entire unit. Somebody lured them there with an Alliance Distress Beacon. Placed it perfectly so they'd land right beside the Thresher Nest. Damn it. I had a bad feeling about this ever since my team disappeared. An Alliance beacon used as bait, my unit wiped out, and nobody seems to know anything about it. Commander, I appreciate what you did. Now I need to do my part. The families of those Marines deserve to know why they died. Captain Anderson said you had information on Baines. Not as much as I'd like to. One of my crews found him, frozen stiff on board a derelict vessel. The missing recon group? The one I sent you to find? They were scouting the system we found Baines's ship in. Anything you need from me? Not right now, Shepard, but I'll let you know as soon as I find something out. Commander Shepard, could I have another word with you? Hello again, Commander. I've got a proposition for you. Since you helped me get information on the Crime Syndicate, I've gotten a lot more backing from my publishers. I'm investigating traffic controller conditions now, and I wondered if you could help. That seems like a step down from wide-scale corruption. Actually, in a way, it's more important. This isn't about people getting rich. This is about safety. I've heard rumors that the space traffic controllers are overworked to a dangerous degree. I can't get into the control room, but you could. If you planted a bug inside, I could crack the story. Everyone knows space traffic controllers are overworked. How is this news? There's a difference between overworked and dangerous. Traffic at the Citadel has increased by 300% in the last century, but traffic controller resources haven't kept up. We already have several last-minute wave-offs per week. <laughs> Do we have to wait for a full-blown disaster? What will this bug allow you to pick up? Just audio and video. I'm not trying to tap into the traffic control system if that's what you're worried about. I just need to hear and see them in order to correlate their activity with traffic efficiency. This bug you want me to plant, could it interfere with traffic signals? Absolutely not. I made certain that the frequencies it uses won't interfere with anything. If you crack this story, what's likely to happen? Ideally, there will be calls to improve working conditions by hiring more controllers and upgrading systems. The Council won't pay for improvements voluntarily. This story will provide that pressure. I can't promise anything, but I'll see what I can do. Give me the bug. Excellent. Just place it on a terminal with a good view of the area. Thanks again for your help. In the long run, this story is going to save lives. Strange. Through all my time at CSEC, I, I never got the chance to witness a meeting of the Council in person. Think of all the important decisions the Council has made right here. Trillions of lives hanging on their every word and deed. It's awe-inspiring. again? Is there a problem? I'm not detecting any signals from the bug yet. 
Could you tell me where you want me to plant the bug again? In the space traffic control room. Ideally on a terminal that gives me a good view of the room. I'm not going to plant this bug. This isn't a good idea. Why not? The controllers need someone to tell their story, and the public deserves to know. It's all under control. Were you truly concerned, or just digging for ratings? No, of course not. I'm trying to protect public safety. I'm trying to help people. I'll have to rethink this story. Maybe if I sell this tough workers in a thankless job, they'd give me an interview. Here, thanks for investigating and for new information. I'm going to talk to my publisher. Later today, Emily Wong goes inside the fast-paced world of space traffic controllers with an exclusive interview. Been a long time, huh? Someone else who knows me now that I'm famous. We go to kindergarten together or something? <laughs> no, no, no. I, I knew your parents, kid. We served on the carrier Einstein. Well, that was 12, 13 years back, though. You were just a kid then. I guess you're not in the service anymore, huh? <laughs> you're retired, yeah. You know how it is. Times are tough for vets. They always are. I didn't see her much that tour. The ship was on patrol most of the time. Hey, call your mom up and ask. She'd remember old Zabaleta. She'd vouch for me. Look, I need a favor. I'm kind of short on money these days. I hate hitting you up for money, but a man's gotta eat, right? So, could you spare something? Maybe 20 credits. 20 isn't enough to get you back on your feet, is it? No, no, no. I I'll just get a, a meal. You know. Yeah. It's not a problem. You're a good kid, you know that? Thanks. You ever want to come by and talk, I'll be here. Huh? <laughs> Can't afford a ticket home, right? You ever just sit and watch people? You can learn a lot. Thanks for the credits, kid. No Batarians come here, you know. <laughs> and that's good. Good. Garrus, perhaps it is my own trouble with Benezia that makes me ask, but do you feel comfortable facing a respected Turi inspector like Saren? Saren is either a traitor or a madman. Taking him down will restore the good name of Turians everywhere. seems so busy, so rushed. I wonder if they are happy. I am not used to this kind of environment. Too much time working by myself, I suppose. How could anyone live here? There are just so many people.
Yeah, what is it? Why were you tossed out of there? Doran didn't have a clue what I was doing. He, he assumed I was cheating. I know Doran. If he says you're cheating, you're cheating. I was just tipping the scales in my favor, only as an experiment. It still sounds like cheating to me. To you, maybe. But this device is merely intended to simulate situations and record results. Recording losses is easy, of course. Nobody notices those. Why do you need to record these outcomes? Ah, now you're getting to the heart of it. I've spent the last five years developing a system that can accurately predict wins and losses on the Quasar. I just need a few more recorded wins and I can complete the algorithms. Can you do that? Isn't that illegal? It's illegal to use my system, but I won't use it. I'll sell it to others. I just need a few more wins recorded. Does the device help me win? The device is set to emit a frequency that will slightly increase your odds. Nothing like my system eventually will, but enough to allow you to record your wins more quickly. Why don't you just sell the device then? What? No. This device is archaic. It uses brute force to achieve its goal. Besides, you saw how easily it was detected. My system, when it's complete, will be far more efficient and completely undetectable. What's in this for me? Keep your winnings. That should be payment enough, I think. I think I'll take my chances the old-fashioned way. Hmm. Suit yourself. Well, I have some calculations to do. Goodbye. Ah, change your mind? You gonna help me record those wins? I'll help you out. Huh. I suppose I could let you try it. Here you go. When you've recorded enough wins, it'll let you know. Of course, if you get caught with the device, well, you saw what happened to me. Well, off you go. That data won't collect itself. It's not an item. And what did you hear exactly? More rumors about strange metal creatures with real AI. Yes, but there's more. Yeah, there always is. I heard they had some connection with a rogue Spectre. Not this again. Why is that so hard to believe? Whatever you say, just don't expect us to believe it too. Why is the music in these places always so loud? It almost seems as if the people here want an excuse not to talk to each other. Hey, Jenna came back looking for work. Thanks for getting her out of Cora's den. I was glad to help out. Yeah, everyone seems real happy to have her back. I sense that you are less than pleased with her return. I'm glad she's out of the den. I'd just forgotten what it was like to have her around. I haven't had a decent tip since she got back. Commander, thanks again for all your help. Hey, Commander. Good to see you again. How's it going, Commander? Welcome to Flux. I'll be right over. Uh, take a seat. Someone will be with you soon. Hello again. Can I help you? I've got something you might be interested in. Let me see that. You got that from Shells, didn't you? I saw him using it earlier. Tossed him out on his ass for it, too. Uh, thanks for bringing this to me. Cheaters shouldn't prosper. I agree with you on that. Thanks again. Uh, take a few shots at the Quasar. On the house. I should be going. Enjoy your time here at Flux. So, did you record five wins with the device yet? Actually, I gave your device to Doran. But that was years of work. What am I going to do now? Maybe you should put your talents to better use. You're no help at all. This is absolutely the worst day of my life. <sighs> what am I going to do now?
It's a bank statement. It shows that I bought something from you, and I bought it. Well, thank you for buying from me, but this still doesn't prove that you purchased that item from my store. But I didn't buy anything else here! How do I know that? If you don't have the proof of purchase, I can't help you. But... Sorry. Hey, Commander Shepard, it's me, Conrad Werner. Remember me? There are rumors on the extranet that you've been made the first human specter. That's incredible. Being a specter is a big responsibility. I just want to make humanity proud. The vids are all talking about Commander Shepard fighting for all of us back home. And they also say that you don't take crap from anybody. You're showing them what humans can do. Hey, can I get your picture? I don't have a problem with it, but why? You're a hero, Shepard. Decades from now, humanity's going to remember you, and I'll have your picture. Just hold up your gun. Perfect. Thanks again, Commander. I'm gonna hang this in my living room. My wife will love it. I'd love to see what the Normandy can do in a fight. How so? The Normandy is built for stealth, not combat. But the stealth drive adds a new tactical level to space combat as we know it. Surprise attacks, undetected flanking maneuvers. I had forgotten the Turian appreciation for tactics and strategy. With respect, I hope we avoid ship-to-ship -ship combat entirely. Stand by, shore party. Decontamination in pr Logged. The commanding officer is aboard. Exo Presley stands relieved. Computer, give me a real-time connection to the Dreadnought Kilimanjaro. I want to speak to my mother, Exo Shepard. Shepard speak? Oh, hi. I don't have time for a personal call right now. I'm on duty. I know what that's like. Do you remember a Lieutenant Zabaleta from the Einstein? Ernesto? Have you heard from him? He was one of the Marines who guarded the CIC. We shared a watch. I lost track of him after there was an incident. I've seen him here on the Citadel. Looks like he's had some hard times. I don't doubt it. You remember the Batarian raid on Mindwar in 2170? You were in high school. The Einstein's task group responded to the May Day. The Batarians were still pulling out when the Marines hit groundside. Sabaleda was one of the first down. He... he was never quite the same after. I don't understand. What happened down there? About every abomination that a sentient being can do to another. To a slaver, a person is just another animal. And humans aren't always liked out here. We heard about corralling. Uh, culling. They'd shoot those they couldn't use, implant control devices in the skulls of those they could, without anesthetic. He has post-traumatic stress because of what he saw? He tried to keep working, but it rode him. He showed up drunk on duty more and more. We couldn't always cover for him. The Alliance discharged him. Everyone knew he drank because of what he'd seen down there, even if he never talked about it. Especially because he never talked about it. 
For it to have affected him that deeply, he must have been a very sensitive man. He was. Always in laughter and tears. If you see him, tell him we still worry about him. Tell him to go to the Veterans Affairs office. I have to go. But take care of yourself. You're making us proud. Kilimanjaro out. Message coming in. Patching it through. Commander, Ms. Algelani's story on you just aired. She shouldn't have ambushed you like that. But you handled it pretty well. We had differences of opinion, sir. I hope she at least believed my sincerity. You handled yourself pretty well, Commander. She came across like a raving idiot. There is one other matter, however. The Citadel has been trying to play down Saren going rogue. It makes the Spectres look bad. Your mention of him was politically inconvenient. I wasn't aware of that. I won't discuss him again, sir. I'd appreciate that, Commander. I won't keep you any longer. Fifth Fleet out. <laughs>